How's everybody doing out there? First of all, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Crystal Edge Technology Screens using Smart Technology Game. <coughs> Haven't coughed a little bit in a while. Code spine starting to leave me. Now, I'm just making this demonstration. Also, too, it'll be attached to a, a spray-on demonstration. And we're going to be doing a spray-on demonstration of the new Nano Screen Paint, which can be sprayed onto any screen. Uh, but um, this is just a little um, eye-opener and a bit of reality to some people who don't understand how technology actually works and how the business works. All right, so um, uh, sometimes we have certain individuals that want to basically compare our technology to theirs. They want to say, hey, look, we, we're the same as them. You can save more money. We're doing the same thing. But yet, I don't see them doing the same demonstrations that we do. You know, it's easy to take a screen, put it in the dark, and say, hey, look, we're the same. You don't want to do our demonstrations. You don't want to do bright, lit, ambient light environments. That's what we specialize in. You know, you don't test your screens against high-performance screens. You don't do any of that. So I don't know how you would put yourself on the same level as us. But I'm going to show you something. Now, I had documents. I, I never really show this stuff off, but I'm showing it off this time. Just, just for this right here alone. I Just to show you exactly, um, as I've been saying in many of my demonstrations, that we have contracts. And in order for you to get a contract, a license agreement, um, you have to, uh, first of all, a company would have to contact you because I wouldn't advise contacting them because they're not going to really care. Uh, they have to contact you. You have to show something in your video that makes them go, hey, I want to do business with this individual. So this right here is called a non-disclosure agreement, an NDA. Now, NDA basically allows both parties to talk and, 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 and the secret, you know, whatever we talk about has to be kept within that, that between those walls. Only people that are allowed to share that information are those actually that are signed to the contract. Now, um, in the license, non sorry, in the uh, non-disclosure agreement, uh, the company will basically, that's interested in whatever technology you're designing, will fly you out to their facility and they will test the crap out of your freaking screen and I'm not joking I mean some serious testing I'm talking about when somebody says they give their honest review on someone's screen paint and their apartment this is not an apartment this is an actual test facility where they go in and they have a group of people that come in and they test your stuff under everything different projectors different lighting and everything so if your screen can't pass the everyday lighting that we have downstairs in our facility downstairs I have in my house I say facility in our house there is no way in the world you're going to cakewalk it in that freaking facility because they're going to beat the crap out of your technology. And I mean, they're going to test it. And we're not talking about uh, somebody giving, like I said, giving a review in their apartment. We're talking about real, actual. I had one guy in there, I think he was a uh, nuclear physics. He was in there. Yeah, he was testing the screen out and he was testing out the chemicals and stuff. So here you can see non disclosure agreement. And I had to black out, um, block some areas on which you to see. That's one of the, comp the companies we're working with. We're still working with them. It's Kenneth Bird, uh, Crystal Witch Technology Screens, and blah, blah, blah. So you have to get that approval right there. So like I said, in order for them to give you that contract, and there it is, it's notarized. You have to get everything notarized. Everything has to be notarized. You have everything read, you have to have everything read over by our attorneys and stuff like that. So in order for you to get that contract, you have to be able to prove to them that your technology is actually that good in order for you to get it. And there is our license contract agreement right there. There we go. That's our license contract agreement from them. So you have to be able to prove that your technology does work because they will test it under everything under the sun. So when I sit there and tell you that we have contracts, we have literally have a great deal of contracts. Right now I'm in the process of actually, I'm in negotiations with Dubai. I'm doing a contract with Dubai right now. Um, I have another contract where we developed uh, technology uh, for another company. We're doing some work with them. Can't say too much about it. This right here is another uh, mutual uh, uh, confidential uh, agreement. I can't show you this because this, this actually is in the works. So this is why this is covered up. I'm going to show you something else really interesting too. A lot of people didn't realize, which we never said anything about. You see that name up there? That's a Seymour AV. We had a mutual non-disclosure agreement with their company and we were developing some technology with them but <coughs> um you know i didn't like the way things were handled and i just felt the need to just walk away from that one altogether so um we don't we're not no longer doing that we're not doing that one anymore project anymore but that, that's what that's what i'm trying to explain to people that when i tell them that 
in order for your technology to be good, you have to, it has to be taken to a facility. And the facility has to test it. And the test that they will do to your, your, your technology is nothing compared to what you see uh, Mr. J do, Mr. J does in his videos. I mean, no, uh-uh. If you had any idea what they do to your stuff down there, it is freaking, I mean, it's brutal. And I, like I said, I've had, I've had times where I was literally nervous. I, my wife was watching me. I was nervous. Like, man, they're hitting my screen with all this light. And I'm like, whoo. I mean, I've, I've, I've done some really insane demonstrations, but the stuff that they use is insane. They actually literally stuck my screen out one time. They had a screen we developed from. They put the screen out in daylight. And it was pretty cool to watch my technology actually work perfectly with no problem so that's how we get the contract so like I said before you know you got to push yourself to get to that point now you gotta stop spending so much time hating on people because you keep doing that you know it's my junkie environment uh, you keep doing that kind of nonsense you don't get anywhere you stay in the same spot over and over again a lot of people don't realize that when I started my company I started off in a little tiny rented room think about it I went from a rented room to, to this you know what I mean? You gotta work hard. I mean, and I'm telling you something. One thing I believe in, you gotta have God. Because without God, nothing works. I mean, maybe everybody got their own opinion on how they do things, but that's what I believe in. All right, so let's go downstairs and show you what we're doing now. Ugh, my messy environment down here. I got to clean my floor. My floor is a mess down here. So we're gonna do today I need to cover my projector. I gotta, I gotta cover it up. We're gonna be doing the uh, the nano. Now I'm gonna show you that a lot of people thought the nano, like I say, look at the screen right here, the one we sprayed the big one. They think it's gray. Now it looks black there, right? But if I put it in the light, it looks gray. Alright? But I'm gonna show you what this chemical looks like. That's what the chemical looks like. It's not gray. A lot of people think it's gray, but it's not gray. Hold on a minute, let me put this down for a minute cap up there for a minute so I want you to see it when I pour it when I pour this I want you to see it when it goes in I told you we had some now look at it when it comes out it has a really strange color when it dries it dries gray but it's not gray see the difference in the color when it dries it's going to dry gray it's a very interesting form of technology. Just like all our screens, they have really strange colors to them, but when you look at them in a certain light, they come up gray. Now, as that starts to dry, see, they look like two different colors. As that starts to dry, it would turn gray. This is interesting. This is how interesting our technology works. Now, as I said before, that this is going to be a spray-on demonstration. So, let's begin. Hold on for a minute. Ugh, the cannon's a little nude up there. The cannon's not giving me any support. Let's see if we can switch this a little bit more over. There we go. Uh, make sure we got my cannon's gonna work right. It's a little cloth, but I'm not worried about it. I can still get through it. That's it. We are done. Get her done. All right, want to take this? That's like they got a cable guy. It's so cool. Get her done. All right, we'll put it right there. All right, so that's the screen. Now, like I said, people look at these screens, they think they're gray. They're not actually gray. All right, so let's come over here real quick. Move that right there. My screen's going to be a little wet, so. 
I think I lost my feed. Yeah, I did lose my feed. Hold on for a minute. I know I heard seeing the screen blink. Now, that is a nano. That's a spray-on nano screen. Just saw me do it. Just took me no time at all. It's an easy one-coat application. Very easy to do. Now, as I showed you, the chemical is not gray. See, that's the problem. You have some people to come out there and go, oh, it's a gray screen. It's not a gray screen. None of the technology that we just, the newer technology we're designing is not gray. It appears to look gray, but it's not gray. Now, look at the difference between the wall and this technology we just sprayed. All right, now before my time runs out here, because I did run down a lot of time, keep in mind, screen's still wet. I'm Kenneth Burr from Crystal Edge Technology Screens using smart technology gain. Hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. I'd like to thank you all for watching. Add that in there just in case my time clicks off, at least I got a chance to sign off. Now you see how the screen is starting to blend. As it dries, it turns gray. But well, that's what I was explaining to you about those contracts. You know, like I said, in order for us to get a contract, our technology has to work. Because in order for us to get that kind of contract, you have to be able to prove that your technology works. They will take it down to a facility. They will test it under everything you could possibly think of. I mean, seriously, <coughs> some insane testing. And these are experts at their field. I've had to go down there and make it right in front of them. Like I said, non-disclosure agreement, but I had to make it right in front of them, coat the screen, have them turn on lights, use low entry level projectors, use high entry level projectors, do all kinds of stuff, take it outside. They do all kinds of crazy stuff with it. So in order for me to go, for them to say, hey, Mr. Bird, guess what? We want a contract with you. You gotta go through that. I mean, it's, it's, it, 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 drive, it makes you a little nervous because, man, I'm telling you, um, the, air, the trip down there, flying down there, what if I go down there, what if the technology, my technology fail, you know, it's a whole lot of stuff that goes through your head. So, you know, I know my technology, I have confidence in my technology because I know the test that I put it through over here. I know the demonstrations that I do over here. This is the reason why we get these contracts. Now, right when I'm done from here, I got negotiations with Dubai because I'm going to be having, it's going to be distributorship over there, it's going to be selling our technology over there. Now you watch me spray this screen, just like that. You see where my projector's sitting? My projector is probably around a good maybe 13, 14 feet from the screen. And like I said, I overlap the surface so the image is not sized to the, to, um, the screen. Fully lit environment. Now as the screen starts to dry, it'll get lighter and lighter and lighter. Now remember when it came out, it had that funny color to it. Now look how it blends, it turns gray. All right, let's grab something else. Let's see, let's grab a... Uh... All right, I'm gonna sign off here. Hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. Thank you all for your time. I'm Kenneth Burr from Crystal Age Technology Screens using smart technology gain. Thank you all for watching. Oh, also too, please keep in mind, we don't, like I said, the um, contracts and stuff I just displayed, uh, that's why we blocked out certain sensitive information, but we don't do this all the time. It's just something we just put up there just to prove that, you know, like I said, as I said before, in order for you to get these kind of, uh, for your technology to be good, it has to be tested, and not from somebody in their apartment giving their review, it has to be tested by experts. All right, again, I love this. I'm going to keep running this until the time runs, I'm sorry. Look at this. That was freaking cool.
Okay, I gotta go. 